Whew. Whew. What? Ah, oh, well, it looks like I lost the Buddy Meister somewhere down the road. He has really no endurance at all. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and when I read that this film got a standing ovation at its 2010 premiere at the Cannes Film Festival, I just thought of course it did, because that was pretty much my reaction when I watched it a few days ago. It was already pretty late at night and I was lying on my sofa and then when a specific moment was happening at the very end, I was literally jumping up, like if a bolt of lightning was just entering my body. And then I watched the entire ending as straight up as one can be, cheering and clapping my hands to what was happening. What a great ending to a great movie. About half an hour before it was over, I was beginning to wonder how they might wrap this one up and if they can put a satisfying and plausible end to it. And they absolutely did. Udan, which translates to Flight, is a 2010 Hindi language coming of age drama that was directed by Vikram Aditya Modwane. This was his directorial debut and we already reviewed a later film of his last year, his 2016 survival thriller Trapped. Modwana actually already wrote a script to Udan in 2003, but for many years he wasn't able to find a producer. Luckily, his friend Anura Kashyap, who we are already familiar with through many of his hard-hitting, out-of-the-norm movies, told him that he would help to produce the film and he also already contributed as a dialogue writer. I have to say that I was really surprised by Udan. Beforehand, I only knew that it was a well-received coming-of-age movie from India, so I guess I expected something much more typical and familiar. But Udan tells its story almost completely without any melodramatic notes, and unlike most other coming-of-age stories, there's also no romance plot. This isn't about first love. It's about a very difficult father-son relationship. It's about the dreams of a young man and the shackles that he has to escape from. It's about 17-year-old Rohan who just got expelled from his boarding school and who now has to return home to his abusive and oppressive father. A father he hasn't seen for 8 years because he never came to visit his own son. Being forced to get back to him, Rohan almost didn't recognize his father anymore after all this time and as a big surprise to him, he also has a young half-brother. After Rohan's mother has died, his father married again and got a second son. But that wife is also not there anymore and it's just these three men of different ages living together now. The fourth man that is important for the story is Rohan's uncle, who lives in the neighborhood, has no children of his own and seems to be way friendlier than his father. And that's basically the constellation for this very straightforward story and film. The acting performances are downright perfect and completely natural. It wasn't just the first feature film as a director for Vikram and Ditya Modwane, but it was also the feature film debut for Rajat Bamicha, who portrays Rohan. What he is able to do is remarkable. Rohan is a very sensitive and thoughtful adolescent. His dream is to become a writer and he's already creating these wonderful poems. One of which he is reciting at the very beginning when he is still with his friends at a boarding school. Everyone who is able to listen to some of his work is really affected by it. Even if they are not fully understanding everything, they recognize his talent, passion and creative mind. Now, unfortunately, I don't understand Hindi and I depend on the English subtitles, but I was still able to appreciate the wonderful sound of his words. Some of the most sublime moments of the film show Rohan on his own, spending time alone in his new surroundings, thinking and writing down his thoughts and ideas. He's even writing his own novel and one of the most positive moments in the film takes place in a hospital, when his writing is attracting more and more patients and doctors. Now, me describing all this might sound a bit too sentimental or like he's some kind of wunderkind, but that's not really how it comes across in the film. He's just a talented young man who wants to follow his passion and try his luck in this world. But his father thinks nothing about the writings of his son. He is a hardened man, is to be addressed only as sir and not as dad, and he doesn't show any love for his sons. They have to do what he says. Rohan has to jog with him every morning and even race him for the last meters. He has an impressive statue and to be manly and hard is important for him. It's this outdated understanding of what a man should be. A world in which writing, in which emotions are defined as effeminate, as girlish. 
he forces his son to work in his steel factory and in the afternoon study engineering. Rohan should basically become like him and this is of course something that's quite common in many families but I think even more so in the Indian society. And becoming an engineer is oftentimes regarded as the highest goal for a man. But this is not Rohan's world at all and the scenes at the factory very directly express the crushing of his dreams and with that also his personality and drive. The story takes place in Jamjapur, which is also known as the steel city of the Indian state Jharkhand. And through the presentation you really feel that heavy weight that lies on Rohan's shoulders. Udan is Rohan's story, but it's also the portrayal of his father and though he sounds like a monster and you really begin to hate him, he's not just this one-dimensional character but also a real human being, which makes it so much stronger and also more emotional. You despise his actions towards his sons, but you can also see where he's coming from and you have pity. You recognize this vicious cycle of father-son relationships. He must have been treated by his father similarly and his life was and is pretty hard. More than once he is mentioning that there is a recession and he just assumes that his son will automatically work or function the way he is supposed to do in his eyes. Living in this world is difficult and being a parent only makes it so much harder. But it's his goddamn responsibility to try his best and it's heartbreaking to see that he comes up with all the wrong decisions. Yet I constantly hoped that he would get around somehow, realize his mistakes and make up for them. At one point he even admits his mistakes, but he still isn't able to come to the right conclusions and maybe it's also already too late for that. It's a really well written character, but the major reason why it all works so well is the way Ronit Roy is playing him. He is absolutely fantastic. Rohan's uncle is played by Ram Kapoor. He's the younger brother of Ronit Roy's character and very different from him. Udan is also a film about the relationship between brothers. When Rohan arrives at his old home, he's very repellent to his young brother, of whom he knew nothing about until that day. He brought his comics and an old Superman action figure, but he doesn't want his younger brother to take them. That Superman figure becomes a crucial thing for the developing of their relationship and also for Rohan's own personal development. When he's looking at old photos later, Later on, he also sees something from the past that then only reinforces his belief of what's the right thing to do. Udan shows us the importance of not repeating the mistakes and toxic behavior that are passed on to us. It's a completely realistic and also very serious film. It was shot on 16mm film and it has a very raw quality. And oftentimes it is also very dark, literally, with much of the image in shadows and very few sources of light. But among all its darkness and weight, there is also hope and this inspirational quality. The direction is fantastic and the few songs amplify the film's positive, rebellious nature at heart. The music was composed by Amit Rivedi with lyrics by Amita Bhattacharya and Anura Kashyap. In the end, it comes down to the fact that Udan just really, really moved me. So in German I'd say, Udan ist ein fantastisches Coming-of-Age Drama. Großartige Darsteller, starke Regie, kraftvoll und einfach unglaublich bewegend. I give Udan 8 out of 10. It's more like 8.4, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Udan. And also let me know what is your favorite coming of age drama. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.